Yes, guys, another topic we've got for you, and this is from the world of music. Um, it's a little bit somber, actually, um, but uh, Master P, the legendary rapper, but I say rapper, but we really mean music mogul. mogul. Music yeah. mogul. mogul. Businessman, entrepreneur. Because he wasn't, he wasn't a great rapper, but he was a fantastic music mogul, yeah. which we'll get into a little bit later. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, his daughter, Tatiana uh, Miller, has now died um, at the age of 29 due to a, um, a, a addiction to drugs. So this comes to us via deadline. And it says, Tatiana, Tatiana Miller, uh, the daughter of rapper uh, Master P, who struggles with addiction, were documented on the WETV uh, reality series, Growing Up Hip Hop, has died at the age of 29. The news was announced on Instagram by Master P. Although a, a cause was not specified, the 52-year-old rapper wrote that mental illness and substance abuse is a real issue that we cannot be afraid to talk about. Our family is dealing with an overwhelming grief for the loss of my daughter, Tatiana, Master P wrote. We respectfully request some privacy so that we, our family can grieve. We appreciate all of the prayers, love and support. Mental illness and substance abuse is a real issue that we can't be afraid to talk about. With God, we will get through this. Miller's elder uh, brother, Romeo Miller, who appeared with his sister in a memorable episode of Growing Up Hip Hop, in which Master P encouraged a reluctant Tatiana to enter rehab, wrote on Instagram last night, Our family is dealing with an overwhelming grief for the loss of my little sister Tatiana, we respectfully re request some privacy so that our family can grieve. Um, TMZ uh, has reported that law enforcement sources say paramedics arrived at a home in the San Fernando Valley at 2.30 a.m. Saturday and found Tatiana Miller dead at the scene. Um, and that is it. So... Yes, Leon. What would you like to say about this? I wouldn't like to say anything. Apart from let's take a moment. Well, Romeo. How big's Romeo now? Last time I remember Romeo, he was about seven rapping. Mm. Do you know what I mean? How time moves on. Yeah, I've never seen that growing up hip hop. Actually. Nah, I don't. I, it's I an think, American. Yeah, it's America yeah. thing. Like we don't really, mm. don't really. Yeah, we don't really grow up hip hop here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so why am I watching it over there? Yeah. That don't make sense. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, as we said before, mental health and um, trying to self medicate is never gonna work. Yeah, mm. you can't self medicate. Mm. People think they can. Oh, I just need this. I just need that. If I take this, if I take that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you're suffering with mental illness. You got all the money and support around you in the world. Sometimes there's just no saving in some mm. people. Like, that's just the cold light of day. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I've worked with um, drug addiction. You know, that's been my field that I've worked in for, boy, over 17 years. Yeah, yeah. You can tell them to the blue in the face. You can, you know, you can bring a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. I've yeah. taken people to rehab. They've left in two days. Da -da 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 -da. Mm. I've been down this road. Dr drugs and the pool is just too strong. Like... Mm. They just can't. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah, yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah. that's all I've got to say on that one, really. Uh, Damien, what do you think about all this? Um, I don't really know what much to say on top of what Leon just mentioned. I mean, it's obviously taking into account the age. Um, it's, it's very, very sad. Mm. Um, I don't want to be the one to point the finger and go, where with the parents? Because we have no idea what situation was going on. That's why, yeah, I didn't go there. Yeah, we, that, because we don't know what was going on. We don't know how much they were trying to help or, or what they were dealing with. So it's... Yeah, I, I mean, they, were, like, they tried to uh, in, send it to rehab uh, yeah. in one of the episodes. So, so, like so. I said, working with people, mm. they come from all different... Mm. You can come from the perfect family. You can come from a broken home. Yeah. Mm. It doesn't matter. It doesn't yeah. But once the drugs get you... Mm. Wow. They got you, mm -hmm. and, and getting away is 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 slim. So that's yeah. why, when it comes to drugs, you can't point fingers. Yeah. You can't. No, no. You can't. Yeah. And mental health, you can't. I will. Yeah. A little bit sometimes, but mm. I'm not pointing no fingers at Master P anyway. Oh no 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 no. no. You know what I mean? No. 
So yeah, I don't, don't go really have anything to, to say on it. I mean, just the parking is very, very sad. And to Leon's point, it's like, there is only so much you can do before you've, you've thrown everything at, at the issue to try and tackle it. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, what do you do apart from lock them in a room and don't let them out? Yeah. Like, you can't do that to them, so it's, yeah, it's horrible. Yeah, it, it is very sad. I mean, me and Leon spoke about this earlier, and um, one thing that I did point out to, obviously, obviously Leon knows, but one thing I pointed out that a lot of people need pointing out now and again uh, is uh, the fact that Master P was extremely wealthy. Um, Master P at one point was the richest rapper um, in the world. Um, and it wasn't because of his rapping. That's what we were mm. discussing. He was rich because that's why we say he's a business, he's a music mogul extraordinaire. Mm. He managed to make a deal. We know that when it comes to musicians, mm. most of the money goes to the record labels. Yeah. He made a deal uh, yeah, he got most of it. where he got most of it. I don't know how he made that deal. I don't mm. know how other people are not making these deals. But because of that, he um, was at one time the richest rapper guy. And he's definitely still one of the richest going right mm. now. I mean, that's how he was able to get his No Limit record label going. Snoop, if you remember, even went from Death Row to No Limit. That's mm. where Snoop went, ended up going. Instead of Aftermath, he actually went to Master P's label. Oh, okay. That shows you how big Master P was. Um so obviously he's a very wealthy man, mm. um, but people and a lot of people think when you know people are wealthy or families wealthy they have no problems. Mm. As you can see, this isn't the case. Um, just because people have money, it doesn't mean that they're not suffering from their own problems. And um, you know this is a, again this is a you know a case of that. And uh, you know the, obviously Master P would have done everything in his power to help his daughter, as as was shown in this article here. Um, but you know, as Leon said, sometimes you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. And, um, I've seen people addicted to substances and it's, uh, I'm sure, I'm sure you both have, um, and it's, it's, it's a powerful, powerful, uh, sickness that just can ruin people. So I, you know, we're not here to point our fingers, not here to judge anyone. Um, we, we just we you know just want to acknowledge acknowledge and throw our condolences to Master P and his family and uh, yeah I think that's about it isn't it, that's it. so that's it. Um, yeah guys what do you think about this news about uh, Tatiana Miller Master P's daughter dying at the age of twenty nine um, twenty nine young buck yeah man leave us your comments down below and let us know what you think please.